What's going on guys, it's Flea and today I thought I would share some gameplay of Dirty Bomb with you guys. So Dirty Bomb is pretty much a really fast paced, team oriented first person shooter that just came out in open beta yesterday I believe on Steam. It is free to play which is one of the main reasons I decided to check it out. Free games are always good in my book but the game itself might not be that great but the fact that it's free is, is awesome. Gives me a chance to play something different. So anyway what it's all about? Well as I said it is team based so it is objective orientated so attackers and defenders style the attackers obviously have a couple of objectives they need to do and the defenders need to defend them from being able to do a set objective. Along the way there are little bits of sort of objectional, objectional? optional sort of objectives you can do, there we go, that's what I wanted to say, that can help you out in the sense of opening up or closing routes that you or your enemy can take. So that there is pretty cool. Now, the way it works is that you get mercs, and you're able to choose three mercs in your current squad. Now, mercs are basically sort of the class. So, for instance here, Artie here has the ability to drop ammo, and an artillery designator ability as well. Now, these are on cooldowns, so the likes of the artillery designator is on a cooldown, so it's not like he's able to spam those out loads and loads and loads. But the thing that I had to wrap my head around a little bit was how you get different weapons and stuff. Loadouts essentially. So loadouts don't work like you being able to second primary or secondary. They work with these loadout cards. Now as you can see I have a couple here already. Now unfortunately the way you get them is sort of a, a random chance of getting a case drop after a match. Essentially like Team Fortress 2 or Counter-Strike Go, stuff like that, but you do not have to pay a couple of quid to open them, which is a plus, it is definitely a plus. But in saying that, you get these loadout cards, and each loadout card has their own sort of loadout with them, as you could imagine. So for instance here, the arty loadout card here has a BR-16, a Calden, and a Cricket Bat which is weird. And augments are essentially mods that you can get, no, well not really mods for your guns, but yeah, yeah, I suppose augments is a better word for it. I can't think of a, a sort of a comparable word right now, but each different loadout card has a different set of augments. Right now this is a lead loadout card, so each card is categorised in rarity. The more rare they are, the sort of better augments and the more augments you'll get, as well as weapons and stuff. So that there is the lead loadout card for Artie there. Now if I go to the, the default one, which is this one here, as you can see it's no rarity, you can see the weapons are different and he has no augments as well. So that's not bad. The issue I feel is the grind to not only get enough to buy one of the cases. You can buy a case for a thousand of the sort of free to play credits, the credits you earn in game, but you earn them so slowly to so do. I think if you're lucky each match you could maybe haul in 300 credits. Now it costs 30, between 30,000 and 50,000 credits to unlock a merc and you could get cards, loadout cards for a merc you don't have and wow these, the rotation changed. So that's another thing, you do get a sort of free rotation of mercs to try, you have these three here already unlocked permanently so you have Aura who's like the healer and then you've got Skyhammer there and Artie. I don't know how often these change, but they're in the free rotation right now. They've literally just changed, so that's pretty cool. I, I might give those a go sometime, or maybe I'll give one of them a go in this in this match. I mean, uh, wow, that's I might give her a go actually because she's she's just sort of new, I believe. But anyway, where was I? Yeah, so as you can see, to actually buy this merc outright using the in-game currency is 50,000 credits. That's an insane amount of grinding, which is it's pretty disappointing. At the minute, the game doesn't grab me enough to play that much to unlock that. It does get a little bit repetitive. 
Um, of course, you can pay real money to unlock these right off the bat. So, as you can see, for £7.99, you can unlock this one. There are ones that cost 30000 right there, so this is 30000 but it costs 4.79 to unlock it right there and then. You can buy boosters as well, which I'm assuming are going to be a couple of quid too. So, let's see boosters. So, yeah, a six-hour credit booster is £2.39. That's... I have to admit that's pretty bad. I mean, a day would be good, but six hours for a couple of minutes, that's ridiculous. There's other free to play games out there that have better sort of style of free to play model, really. That's insane. But anyway, so as you can see, you can buy the cases right here for a thousand. And the potential rarity is set out there as well. Now, I think that's, that's I've explained a decent amount so far so I am going to hop right into one of the matches at the minute where can I check this without going into a match at the minute there are only two game modes there is objective which is the normal sort of based game mode where you have attackers defenders they have their own objectives etc and then you have stopwatch I haven't played stopwatch yet but it says that it's pretty much to, it's uh, just, as it says, it's a watch, it's to see how fast each team is able to do the objectives and stuff like that and you compete against them. But I have yet to play that. Honestly, I don't think I would enjoy it. I'm currently enjoying just the normal objective. Ro road kick up based ones. Most of the matches are 6v6. Uh, I see some 7v7s and 8v8s right there, but most of them are 6v6. It is very, very, very fast paced. But anyway, enough yapping, let's hop into a game. Alrighty, so there are our objectives as the defending team. Right now I'm playing as Kira, so she has an ammo station, so that's going to be interesting. She also has an orbital laser, so that is also going to be rather interesting. Oh, it's burst fire, I don't like burst fire. Not a fan of burst fire, so we're not going to use her. We're not going to use her. So now don't revive me, I'm sorry. Um, we'll, we'll go with Aura. Definitely go with Aura here. So she has a shotgun, a lovely healing station and a defibrillator. So let's disarm that bomb if we can. So very, very fast paced. It looks like sort of... Um, let's try and disarm her quickly. It looks like on the majority of maps... Oh. The SMG and shotgun users seem to dominate a lot more than the assault rifles and whatnot. Oh shit! We have to defuse that. No, 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 no. Uh. Oh, I hope those guys out quickly. Pick our hill station up again. So as you can see, they had a little objective right there they could do, and they have just tried to do it. Got one guy behind me, but, eh. but unfortunately, I was a little too slow on killing the person planting the C4 there. But I'm not sure what that does at the minute. We shall soon see, but it looks like everyone's just focused on defending this main objective right here, which is nice. It is, of course, very, very nice that people do stick to the objective. PTFO and all that, good stuff. They actually have two little optional objectives they can do. Uh, can I reach you? I can. Oh dear. Well, I got him up. I got him up. I just didn't see that fellow over there, which is disappointing. Alright, so that there is about to blue as well, which sucks. Or is it? Yeah! <laughs> that was a stupid decision, Flame. Good job. But that guy got a quad kill 
from that C4. That's insane. We can construct them again, so we can repair them. But at the minute, the main objective there is about to explode. And we don't want that. Ah, he's right there, son of a bitch. I can have help. No, sorry, I'll tap out. Go, go, go. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get this, really. They're all swarming it right now. Oh, a grenade in there would be lovely. Absolutely lovely. We'll actually go for Skyhammer, see what we can do. Might be able to get an airstrike in. Because there is no window. Oh dear. Right, they actually got the objective already. That sucks. We have to defend this. Okay. Oh, it's this way. Is it this way? I don't know. I'm still getting used to the maps. Still getting used to the maps, guys. Yeah, I think it's here. It could be coming from up here? Possibly? I don't know. We will soon see. Ooh. Oh dear. Run away. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just accidentally <laughs> threw ammo. Alright. Let's do this. See if we can flank around. I've never been up here before. Do you there we go. Awesome. Ooh. Damn it. Alright. Let's go back to Aura, actually. I like I like Aura. I like the healer. It's pretty good. It, the game is very, very fast-paced. And as I said, the ma most maps seem to favour the shotguns SMG combo right now. Which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, you might as well use it. There is a double jump feature, but... Okay. Oh dear. Put down my health station quickly. Pick it up. They've closed the barrier. That is a shame. Yeah. You, you get some pointuses. Change mag. Finish him off quickly. Oh shit. Damn! Damn! Alright, let's see. Oh, we have to defend, okay. For some reason there, I b might have been spectating the enemy, but it said it said plant C4. I wasn't seeing things, right? Alright. Let's go. What do we have down here? Thank you for the ammo. Station line. There we go. All the healings. Ooh. I'm helping people. Ah, oh, no. Where'd that come from? I do like the the kill cam sort of thing. The way they have the silhouettes and the. The actual bullet trail dude, that is pretty awesome. Not sure why he was pushing up the elevator. Not sure why any of them were pushing up the elevator. Well, that was a tell lie. Sometimes, if you do have a team that's just absolutely stomping the other team, they will spawn camp. They will push up and spawn camp, which is... It sucks. It's kind of boring. It is quite boring when people do that. I mean... At that point, they're just after the kills. They're like, yeah, it kills! Okay. Uh, oh no, he died. Okay. I was gonna heal him, but now I'm not going to. Alright. Let's head back around. How? Ooh. Interesting. 
Let's blow this up and see what happens. Hmm. I don't know what that does. I'll be honest, I do not know what that does. Ooh, that's a bomb. Oh shit. Grenade blew up my health station. I'm sorry man, it's on a cooldown. Okay. Very, very intrigued to see what this does. I want to know what it does. Ooh, look at this here. Nice little place for a sniper. I'm very close to getting sniper uh, Merc unlocked. I can't wait for it. It's going to be really nice. Alright. Let's just hold out around this area. Let's chill around out here. Die, please. Oh, oh shit! I, th I thought I died, but then again, I didn't. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Did it blow up? Did I manage to blow it up? We will check. We will check. Let's go. Did it blow up? Is the question. Oh, they've closed the barriers. I'm alright, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy about that. I got rid of that their little fucking healing station. That's stupidly powerful as it is. Really, really powerful. I have noticed some people complain about it, that Aura is able to just stand right in the circle, and it's pretty, pretty easy to just survive heals and bullets, but they don't realise that they can destroy the little healing station. Oh shit. Looks like they are chilling in that little area. Mm. A grenade in there would be marvelous. Anyone. Just grenade it. Grenade, 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 grenade. Everyone's dying. Don't die. Oh, you missed the jump, man. Don't miss the jump. Alright. I don't know why, but I'm gonna try again. So I think that, that thing closes this. Uh, oh. I think that generator closes those barriers there. Alright, pick it up quickly. Oh. There we go. We got him. Awesome. And we'll destroy this and get that thing closed. Pick up my healing station again. And we will do what they were doing. Uh, actually, I'm wondering if that C4 will blow up. Maybe will, maybe will. We'll just chill out here then. Alright. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad right now. Oh. Peeps are dying. Ah, oh, no. Honestly thought I had him. 33% health, that sucks. Nah, I might as well just die, he's not going to be able to get me. Ooh, revolver, nice. Oh, unlucky. Alright, hopefully... Oh, blow it. There we go. Yeah, so it opens these here. That's nice. That is awesome. Alright, looks like there's a bunch of them come up here. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're just kind of standing there. Don't just stand there after I revived you, please. No. Explosions. No. Health station deployed. All right, let's see. Who else needs help? You okay? Oh. I see. That's who you were pinned down by. Sorry, we got you, man. Get some nice healing points from up there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, you need help. Oh no. Sorry, I'm coming man. I'm coming. Don't die. Don't die. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, my aim! So bad! Oh, such bad aim. I should have had that guy. I definitely should have had him. But... My aim sucks. My aim sucks. So we've got 50 seconds left. We can do this. Oh, we can do this. Alright. We aren't doing too bad. Hell station is online. Do you? I do like healing. Healing's fun. Not to mention you get a lot, a lot of points. Oh! Careful. Thank you. Oh, guy right across the way. Fifteen seconds. Woo! Are we going to do it? I think we will. Yeah! Complete. Oh, woohoo! That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. A little bit of a rocky start, a little bit of a rocky start. Even KD, but we got a lot of points. Yeah, nearly 10k XP. Awesome. So as you can see, the amount of credit you get per match is not great. It's going to take a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding. Which is kind of ridiculous. The only reason I have about 29,000 is I think between levels 2 and 4, you get a, a lump of credits anyway. So we're going to return back to the main menu. Not, or not normally, but you have a chance of getting a case drop after each match. So that's one way you can actually get different loads, loadouts and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you would like to see some more gameplay, just drop a comment below or leave a like on the video and I will get onto that. I, I should play this for a little bit as well, you know, see if I can get some decent things and whatnot. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you.